Okay, so we're in for the last session of today in this track of uh, Visions for a Sustainable Economy. Um, and we're happy to be here. And it's been great to be part of, uh, of this day so far. Um, yeah, uh, we're glad that you're still here <laughs> to listen to us. Um, it's been a long day, and for me it's been very interesting because I'm not that familiar with software and all that, so it's been uh, like a lot of brainless <laughs> exercise, so pretty tired from that. But it's going to be fun presenting our project, Watch It. It's a democracy project for youths in uh, located in Malmö and Lund. Uh, but uh, now we don't have any financial uh, project fund accounts uh, from uh, Almen Arsvonden, that's a national fund foundation for projects, uh, we're coming to youths. But we are nowadays a uh, cooperative, uh, I was activist and uh, paradox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been working for four years and uh, exploring different methods to do democracy. I just talk about democracy, but to do democracy uh, together with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then who are we? And who? Oh. Who are you? Yeah, I always <laughs> ask me <laughs> myself that question. Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of hard. Um, um, I'm a researcher, I'm an activist, human rights activist, asylum activist, women rights activist. Yeah, kind of everything that needs to be <laughs> done in this world. And, uh, and I'm a pedagogue and I process uh, uh, in a project. Uh, watch it, but also another project called Tifon that works with uh, unaccompanied uh, minors and uh, political um, participation. Mm -hmm. And my name is August, and I'm, I would also define myself maybe in a bit the same way as you. It's maybe a bit uh, confusing to myself. <laughs> Who am I? But, but I'm, I have the role as a pedagogue working at the local folk high school in Malmö. Um, but I'm also an activist in some different organizations and settings. One of them is Watch It. Uh, one other is the Bank that uh, Miguel mentioned in the last session. Mm -hmm. But um, just to, to say something more about uh, how we try to, to work with democracy, with doing democracy, as we, uh, we say. Uh, and I, 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 I don't really know of any other organization that says that they are, uh, they are exploring like, how to do democracy in the, in the actual world of göra, att göra Not so many people talk in, in these terms. Um, so that's, that's kind of... Uh, and to us that, that means exploring what, what is democracy, of course, in everyday life. Right? Um, Taking, taking on, exploring what is your kind of role as an active citizen in uh, the many different situations in life. Um, and we believe that you need to have the body involved in learning. Um, learning cannot be done simply by sitting and listening, as you are doing it now. <laughs> you need to, to be involved with your different senses. We are, uh, we are human beings uh, with many senses. And to learn, uh, we should be involved with the whole body. So have we have been trying to explore quite a lot how to make uh, actions quickly, how to move quickly into action. You, you described this before. And these are the images, it's some examples of, um, of this, also the methods that we've been using in doing workshops with, with you. And we've been doing um, probably a few, I don't know, hundreds of no, maybe not hundreds, but, <laughs> but, it, but it, there's been a lot of workshops, okay? Especially in Malmö and Lund. Uh, so I've been trying this out with you, uh, like moving quickly into, from idea to action. Moving out into the street and expressing your, your voice, or sending video messages to politicians, or different, different things. But to uh, warm up in some kind of way, just to, to not be afraid to do more things, to do to be in a secure uh, room with people you kind of know to try different ways to express yourself and then maybe later on you will be able to go out and do stuff where you don't know anyone or to try these things but also to think that we can't just go and vote every fourth year it's democracies in this group and um, you know our family how to work with democracy in, in small and um, 
scales and in big scales. Mm -hmm. So, yes, so one parallel process for us all the time in this um, ongoing exploring for the last four years mm -hmm. has been also how, how should we work with it mm -hmm. in our, in our uh, project group. Uh, and this we translated this spring into a few different workshops that, we, that we've been carrying out quite a lot with, with adults rather than youth, actually. Mm -hmm. And one called the internal democracy, one called idea to action, and one called democratic leadership. So we have been trying to, to influence uh, also pedagogues a lot in, in how can you uh, take these concepts, ideas into the classroom, for example, or into uh, the creative score where you are working. Um, mm -hmm. um, and this is one of the tools. We have also been trying to, we're, we're not just like going to the street and try something out. We're also, we, we also try to conceptualize a bit. So we use, for example, this ladder of participation that is well known, um, but with a special graphical design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And a workshop can look like this, the typical idea to action workshop. Um, yes, or well, maybe we should move on into uh, the next part of uh, this session. Mm -hmm. we yeah, usually do. Yeah. yeah, because of course, as I mentioned, learning and, and um, getting into action is of course uh, about getting involved. <laughs> so we would like to, to uh, invite you also now to uh, to talk and work a little bit together with us, um, and um, it's been it's been a long day. Some of you have been part throughout the whole day. Some of you have been to this uh, in this room, taking part in the different sessions or presenting as well. Uh, some of you have been to the other lectures, um, but we we uh, propose one thing that we do together now, and that is that we uh, divide into um, let's see. Uh, two groups <coughs> of three, and you will get to switch roles in this group of three. One will start with the role as a speaker, one will start in the role as a listener, and one in the role as a, a writer or a note taker. Uh, <coughs> and the concept is to get the chance to speak and to get the, the concentrated chance to listen um, and to actually also get some, some feedback. The one who takes notes can do this by making like a mind map of what uh, the person speaking is, is saying. Um, I think a kind of a mind map is, is a good, uh, good starting point for taking notes. Um, mm -hmm. And this is later be given to the person that was speaking so they can take it with them. With yeah. Them. Mm -hmm. And you will each get to, we switch in the group. So you, there are like three, um, three momentums, what can I say? Mm. So you'll get to try each row, of course. Um, yes, but what should we talk about? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Five, uh, yes. And we will tell you when to switch around. 